The new firmware update is going to be available shortly for the GH6 that enables SSD recording for both photos and video. So for this process, we're going to walk through the installation and what you need to do to get the camera prepped for this update. Now to start with, this process is going to be a little different than our normal updating process, so make sure to follow these steps as closely as you can to ensure that everything works out and that both files are installed on the card so that the camera can run through the process. So to start with, you're going to need a CF Express or an SD card. Either is going to work fine, but you're going to want to make sure that those cards are actually set up and formatted in camera before you move to the process of actually putting the files onto the card. So we're going to take a look at my GH6 here, which I have. I'm going to plug in my CF Express card. And to start with, you want to make sure that the card is recognized by the camera, and you can get a good indication of that by seeing a frame count or a photo count on the bottom right, as well as a non-flashing icon on the bottom to indicate that that card is installed. Once the card's installed, we're going to go into the menu. And then we're going to go to the wrench icon and then go to the card and file submenu. From here, you're going to go to card format, click on whichever card you've got installed. I have CF Express installed here, so I'm going to click CF Express. And then you're going to format that card in camera. Now, typically with CF Express cards, I almost always do a low level format. It takes a little bit longer, but it makes sure that the file structure is going to be set properly for this camera. So let's do that now. Now that the card is formatted, you can eject the card from the camera. Typically for this process, make sure that your camera is turned off and then remove the card once the lights have stopped blinking. This is a good way to ensure that there's no activity being written to the card for any reason whatsoever. Now once you have the card, you're going to take this and insert it into either a CF Express or an SD card reader, which you can get commercially available from different manufacturers. I recommend doing it this way as opposed to connecting the camera over USB to your uh, actual uh, camera uh, into the computer, mainly because when you do it this way, you make sure that you don't have any kind of issue with the cabling that you're using to connect it into the computer. So from here, we're going to take a look at the files that I've downloaded. So the GH6 firmware update for SSD is going to include two separate files that you'll need to have on the CF Express card or the SD card in the root folder. Now both of these files will be required and you'll need to have them both installed at the same time. You're going to have file v21, which is version 2.1, and then you'll have another file that's called vv22, which is the version 2.2 update. Now again, I need to stress this enough. You need to have both of these files installed onto the card at the same time. This is where it's different than our normal traditional updating process. So from here, I'm going to drag, I'm going to copy and paste both of these files onto my card. Now, it's common practice for people to drag and drop onto your media card for these files. However, I do not recommend that. When you do that, you may not actually be copying the files until you forcibly eject this, the card from the computer's OS. Doing a copy and paste is a more reliable way to do this, but ultimately make sure that you are still actually going into the file, right clicking or uh, command clicking if you're on Apple, or dragging and dropping to the trash can to make sure that you are actually ejecting the media from the computer. So from here, I'm gonna click eject. We'll wait a moment. That card is now ejected, and what that means is I can take this CF Express card that I'm using, and I can now insert it back into my GH6. Now for this, once you have the card reinstalled into your camera, again, we're going to wait for it to be recognized by the camera. I have my frame counter there. I have the icon for CF Express no longer blinking. Now from here, just click Menu. We're going to go back into that Settings menu, and then we're going to scroll down to the wrench with the three dots underneath. And then you'll go into that submenu and go down to firmware version. Now from here, click the menu set button. You'll have the option for firmware update. I'm going to click firmware update from here. And then momentarily, you'll see it will come up and say firmware update for the body has been detected version up to 2.1. From here, you're going to click yes. Now a few things to make sure that you are very aware of with this update. 
Like one, we had already stated that this is gonna be two files that have to be installed on the camera and it will do this automatically. So this process is going to take relatively longer than our normal updating process, somewhere in the range of 15 to 35 minutes. So make sure that the time that you're gonna have spent to do this update, you've got enough time to just leave the camera alone, let the firmware update run, and then come back to it after it's completely done and installed. Now two, because this is two separate files, the camera will reboot a few times. So don't worry that you see the process taking one longer than normal, but also that the camera is going to cycle its power a few times as it runs through this update. Those are all normal things to be expecting. So with this update, once you're all done, we'll come back and we'll actually talk about in a separate video what this new update provides.